teams who are doing a different approach. We are trying the migration assistance. All right, so we'll go here to the search bar underneath your finder and you'll type in migration, transfer or reset will pop up. You'll hit that, open migration assistant, continue. Boom, boom, we enter here. From there, you're gonna click from Mac, Time Machine, Backup or Startup. Your external drive should pop up. This is my first time using a migration assistance. Usually you just backed it up from the restore, but we're gonna try this one out. All right, so the external hard drive popped up. Click it, continue. All right, guys, from here, pick your external hard drive backup that you want to back up from. From there, it's going to pull all the data sizes of all the information from your backup that you're trying to upload. I would definitely recommend waiting for it to calculate all the sizing of your files before clicking next. It just helps it be more efficient from what I found. After you've gotten a calculated file size of all the information, you're going to go ahead and click next and it's going to ask for your computer password to verify it. Once after this screen is done, it's going to ask for your computer login and if you want to replicate that account, I went ahead and just clicked replicate because Typically for me, it's going to be the same password and the same name. So I just went ahead and accepted and clicked moving forward. And here's where the waiting is going to begin. For me, it took two and a half hours to upload all the information that I had from my backup. And so that will all depend very on how much information you have on your backup. From there, the computer should be booted back up. You're going to type in your password for the computer and it's going to restart yet again. After it boots back up, you're going to put your password yet again. And this time around, it should be good to go in terms of going through the questionnaire of your setup for the Mac. It's gonna be a tad bit slower, so don't worry, because the machine is backing up all that information. After it goes through the questionnaire, it's going to ask for your Apple ID to verify that it's you. It's gonna send you the phone number verification. And then from there, guys, it's that's pretty much it. It's gonna ask for a background change, depending if you have the new Mac OS, and you should be good to go. Hopefully you guys got some value out of this. And uh, let me know how it goes for you guys in the comment section below. Peace.